I had the good fortune of having a mindshare learning moment with Dr. Bill Muirhead, Associate Provost of the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Here at, we're here at York University, just wrapping up the uh, ABLE Summer Institute, and uh, Bill just uh, wrapped up with a closing keynote. Good afternoon, Bill. Thank you for joining us. Well, thanks, Robert. What, a, what an awesome, inspiring uh, closer. Uh, amazing sound bites. I think you stirred a lot of emotion and positive energy in the delegates. Thank One you. of the comments that uh, you made that, that was quite poignant was uh, uh, around the Berlin, Berlin Wall of Education Technology coming down, crumbling around us. Perhaps we can touch on that and, and where this market's going. And I think that uh, the analogy I used was that the Berlin Wall, which seemed so impenetrable for many decades, actually fell very quickly and was a surprise to many people in the, in the, Western, in the Western world. And the reason that it collapsed was that there was no internal cohesion anymore. There was no value to continue to divide Germany from east from west. And my fear is that public education is about to enter the same kind of, of uh, environment where if we don't change what we're doing, and I'm not advocating for any particular change, but to begin the dialogue around what does it mean to be educated in the 21st century, what is the role of public schooling, what are the role of teachers, and the opportunities that are inherent in the use of technology. Technology is changing everything, and yet it has changed very little in schooling. That's no one's fault. That is the necessity, it's the requirement to have dialogue and to have leadership both from the top but also emerge from schools, from parents, from industry to begin the question that society is now facing. And you, uh, you showed a wonderful example of uh, the province of New Brunswick in, in a YouTube video, very inspiring. Uh, they are starting to walk the digital talk. There are, are pockets of innovation across the Canadian landscape. And for those viewers who aren't aware of it, uh, Bill and I go way back to his time in Alberta when he was heading up the uh, Alberta Online uh, Institute, uh, e-learning institute. And uh, coincidentally, this back to school issue is focused on the province of Alberta. Mm -hmm. And they've got some amazing things happening. You were involved intimately with the startup at UOIT mm -hmm. and uh, getting the whole infrastructure up and running on and it's, uh, technology and academic side. What, 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 reflecting on where you came from, Alberta, and, and being on Ontario now, from a leadership perspective, perhaps you, know, you can touch on what do we need to do to move the ball forward? Because we are behind Alberta and, and New Brunswick. Well, let me say that leadership is a crucial, crucially important any change process. I think that all of the literature, all of our experience, both within the private sector, within the public sector, uh, within the parapublic sector, and I see, I think you see this around the world, without really engaged leadership that begins to ask the questions, uh, you're not going to have affect any change. I think that's the first thing. I would say that's more important than actual resources, because I think resources are if you don't have the resources, you can't create change. Well, I don't believe that. I believe that resources come if you change the environment in which uh, leadership emerges. I think the other thing that's important here is that in Alberta, I was able to leverage uh, discussion that was already taking place across the province for change and for enhancement of learning. When I came to Ontario at UOIT, I came for the same reason. How can we affect positive change around the learning environment with the use of technology? I think in Ontario, we are doing some many innovative things, but they're not being done systematically. They're being done by individuals uh, who are doing terrific work, but the support provincially does not appear to be there. And I want to be careful about that. There are many people working very hard in the ministry but there needs to be a coordinated, almost uh, organic sense of we need to do things differently, how can we do that, and ask the questions that nobody wants to ask. And that is, uh, do, do the systems that we currently have still meet the needs of society in the 21st century? If they are, that's, that's great that we've asked the question and come up with the answer. If not, 
then we need to devise a process and a strategy to identify how we can enhance learning to, uh, to uh, minimize the gap. A brilliant assessment, uh, an inspiring keynote. I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. let's keep in touch because I, I certainly have a vision for where you could be uh, in this uh, very important province in Canada. And uh, I have kids in the system, so I'm highly motivated to help facilitate initiating change. And I hope to have you out at our November 2nd conference, uh, uh, Mindshare's EdTech Leadership Summit uh, at the Mar New Market Convergence Center in association with York University. I'd love to be there. Thank you so much again. Thank you. That was Dr. Bill Muirhead from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. My name is Robert Merlanchi. And until next time, keep the learning curve steep.